Hi everyone. If for any reason you want to reinstall Windows operating system on a on a computer, be it a server, be it a laptop, be it a desktop computer, you will probably be needing a USB flash drive to make it easy. Now that USB flash drive must be bootable. For instance, if you have to install a Windows 10 operating system onto a computer, say the computer, the installation had a, a, is having an issue and you need to reinstall it, be it um, a fresh installation, be it a reinstallation, be it um, you want to repair. If the installation is having an issue and you want to do a repair, you probably need a bootable USB drive. And for Windows 10, uh, to fix a Windows 10 computer, uh, my recommendation is that you you prepare the discs using a Windows 10 uh, a Windows 10 installation. So um, see right here, I have Windows 10 installation. This is a Windows 10 installation. So I'm going to prepare the USB a bootable USB using this Windows 10 installation because presently I want to fix a Windows 10 installation that is no longer booting. Now one very quick way of doing that is using a Windows utility called Dixpad. So let's get started. So first you call up Dixpad. And it must be run as an administrator. List dicks. I've attached a, a USB drive. Let me show that to you. Here you can see my USB drive. It's it's a eight gig USB drive. Uh, another way you can confirm that Okay, so here it is. Um, it's actually uh, 8 gig. So it's a 8 gig USB flash drive. So, so that's Dix1 here. So go ahead and select that. So let's just select. Let's select Dix. One next, clean the dicks. Next, create partition and make it primary. So the primary partition has been created. For the avoidance of doubts, list list partitions. Now you see that a primary partition has been created, which is partition one. So go ahead and say select partition one. Partition one is now the selected partition. Partition 1 has been selected. Next is to format. So we do format and the file system we are calling up to use is part 32. 
your server, your laptop, or your desktop computer, computer's platform supports the unified extensible firmware interface, UEFI, commonly referred to as EFI platform. You must format using for 32. So again, the only file system that will boot in EFI computers is FAT32. So the flash drive must be formatted using FAT32. So we'll go with that and we'll make it um, quick. Okay, since there is nothing in it, it um, is fast. And so now the flash drive is formatted in FAT32. Next, next is to mark that partition active. Now that partition is not active. And that's all. Next is exit. You are done. Now at this point, it's, it's ready and it's now a bootable flash drive. The next step is actually to copy the the Windows files into it. I hope this helps. Um, but bear in mind, the 32 systems have limitations. And one of the limitations is that you cannot copy a file that is larger than 4 gig direct at once into it. So for instance, Here I have Windows 10. I write in it. There it is. Install dot wim install dot wim is larger than four gig. So what are you going to do in this case? Okay, so copying this file into the FAT32 flash drive, um, this particular file will not go because it is larger than four gig. So in the next video. I'm going to show what you will do to, to, to this kind of file in order to, to enable you to copy it into the, into the flash, into the FAT32 bootable flash drive.